good, everyone? I am the mouth of the South, and I am better than you, baby! Do you know who else is better than you? CJ McFucking Reary, and the entirety of Immortal Disfigurement. Now, I am gassed as fuck for this. Now, I can't remember if I actually did do a reaction for King. I want to say I did, but if memory serves me right, I don't think I did, because I was way too busy with other shit, moving house, etc, etc, etc. Apologies if you can see my child's toys in the background, like his Spider-Man, uh, hot water bottle. Look, we couldn't leave a shop without it, he was obsessed with it, so shut the fuck up, okay? But, I can't remember if I did King or not, um, but basically, King, fucking insane. It has one of the best breakdowns I've ever heard from any band, period. Um, and CJ is sounding so fucking monstrous with lows that are rivaling fucking Alex Terrible and Phil Bozeman and Ben Dua. Like, we already know CJ had, like, lows. But now he's just going full fucking Venom incarnate, and I love it. Love it. Da. Also, his work with uh, Befoul Tongue on their song uh, Between the Realms, Between Realms, is fucking insane. And his track with Larsenia Row. All, that's all I'm going to say. We're saving that for another fucking video. Larsenia Row is coming. Yeah, best believe. But today, we're not here for Larsenia Row. We're here for Immortal Disfigurement with their track, Force Fed. I'm very excited for this. I'm very excited for the album coming out next year. I'm so, so happy that we're finally getting the full uh, LP. Could not be more gassed about this. I'm not going to fuck around anymore. I'm very excited for this. This is a burp. And this is a mortal disfigurement force fed. Motherfuckers. Let's go. Wow. Okay. Always blast. Ooh. My eyes are fucking open, CJ. What are you gonna show me? This is heavy, man. This is like death portrait vibes. <laughs> I Oh Evil Bro, Leo's drumming is a madness Oh, is this the good? Oh, Riffage! Yeah, Riffage! Come on! Evil CJ. Always evil. The Riffage! They did it again! <laughs> <coughs> Fucking sick! It is the chorus! The leaves are so sick! Evil CJ! Always evil CJ! The continuation of the chorus is so sick! I'm here for it. 
Come on. Oh, it's pretty. Oh yeah. Zolotop! Ooh! Oh, that dropped a sick! Do like the triplets, but the... Oh! Oh, the ascension! Where are we going? I believe there's a breakdown coming, there's gotta be. Mad. Mad. Do you know how mad that is? That is mad. Mad. Bruv. Bruv. The fuck? I take all my hats off to the fucking band. Whoa. 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 That was... Is that the best one? I think that may be the best one. Right. It's that or it's King. Uh, it, it might be the best one. It... Pff, fuck yeah. Alright, CJ. You need to fucking chill, brother. That was a madness. That was ridiculous. Because that was so heavy. I'm doing the politician fucking point thing to not offend anyone. Well, fuck you. Everything you know is fucked. That's CJ, bruv, way too fucking evil. Way too evil. You're summoning shit now. And it, it's got to fucking stop, bruv. Can't carry on like this. Doing a madness. <laughs> Honestly, the fact that he did the fucking <coughs> thing... Again, I'm ill, so fuck my vocals. Ignore that. The fact he did that again as just like a little lead into like a second breakdown pre-chorus thing. Oh, I love that. I think that's awesome. Uh, his highs are so evil and wet and squishy, but they've also still got like this piercing high crispness to them. Um, and it's, it's somehow dirty and gross while still being melodic. 
And weirdly, I think that completely changes depending on the music that's backing it. And that's how versatile CJ screams are. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, it's because it's the, it's the same sound. He's doing the same sound. It's, as far as I can tell, it's the same sound, it's the same technique, but he's implementing it in different parts of the song, so therefore it sounds different depending on what part of the song. Do you get what I'm saying? I hope so. Lows, Madness. We got some CJ mids, which I always love. We don't get much of CJ's mids. We got some in um, some in early signed stuff. Uh, in particular, with Lorna Shaw, we got some with Relentless Torment, which, by the way, Relentless Torment walks so Pain Remains trilogy could run. Just putting that out there. Um, and yeah, I love that we're getting it again. I really love that we're getting it again. And I loved how relentlessly heavy this was. Balls to the wall, fuck you, heavy. Um, I don't want to keep drawing comparisons to Lorna Shaw, but. I'm going to, because that's the only band good enough that I think I can compare it to, um, outside of like Mental Cruelty and Worm Shepherd. Worm Shepherd are really doing their own thing now. They've gone more into like a black tongue heavy, full kind of thing, and uh, Mental Cruelty are just going like full black with the stuff. Um, and Lorna have. A perfect balance of heavy and melodic and I think Immortal, Di Immortal Disfigurement are striking that same balance but tipping the scale more towards heavy where like Lorna you could say that the Paid Remains trilogy are ballads I think I, I don't think Immortal Disfigurement could or not could do that they could do that I don't think they should, and I don't think they're intending to. I think they're tipping the scale more in the heavy side, while still containing the melody and being able to do those real big, feel-good, emotional pieces that go with it. Um, I think that's insane songwriting uh, from Harry and the other members of the band. Um, the orchestral arrangements in this are some of the best I've ever heard. Like... Um, as much as I love Lorna Shaw, their orchestral uh, arrangements up until, not not up until Pain Remains, they're very samey, apart from certain songs like Immortal, like Sun Eater, um, but for the most part they're kind of similar, they're not like Shadow of Intent, where Gravesinger sounds completely different to uh, Farewell, as an example. Uh, I've always said Mental Cruelty have the best orchestral arrangements in like the Black and Death Force scene. And more just freaking enough, doing their best to fucking rival them. Um, the Kratos build up that was King, followed by the fucking like melancholic after the war is done that you got at, at the end of this track, Force Fed. It's amazing. Um, and as a, I, again, comparing to Lorna Shaw, but fuck you. Um, it reminded me of Death Portrait. It really reminded me of Misery System. Um, it, mainly because of CJ's lyrics and his delivery um, of the everything you know, everything you think you know is fucked like my camera and its inability to fucking focus on this fat fuck alliteration bruv focus cunt thank you yeah that um this world you think you know is dead and gone if you think you're safe you're fucking wrong followed by everything you think you know is fucked awesome it's hard as fuck but i think it it harkens back to lyrics that were said in misery system they feel like very similar lyrical songs um, I'm trying to remember the lyric in Misery System. That you were designed to fail, fuck it all, forget your fucking name, you're just a goddamn puppet to the system of misery. Then like, bleh. Awesome, 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 awesome. I've got to shout out Leo's drumming. Because as a deathcore drummer, sometimes it's hard to be original and stand out. I, there's a reason I put him in my top 10 deathcore drummers of all time. Um, 
He was doing this thing in the middle section between the second chorus and the breakdown, which awesome section. The solo, the drums, CJ's big powerful vocals building, like bringing this melody before the drop of the breakdown. Awesome. And the symphonic elements coming into play as well. But in particular, fucking Leo's drumming. Um, reminded me of Gojira. Just because... Uh, it reminded me of the song Backbone by Gojira with the on the fucking uh, on, on this on the snare whilst keeping the the beat like a simple 4-4 four, four on the hi-hat with the uh, kick drums doing like a like fucking triggered triplet thing doing that like so syncopated so sick so so fucking good I loved it this may be the best track Immortal Disfigurement have put out yet. Um, but it's it, it, that's hard to say because King was that good. Drag Through the Inferno is awesome. There Is No Light is awesome. But King and Force Fed, boy howdy, they're fucking, like, they fuck. They fuck. Like, they fuck. They're, they're, they're seriously that good. I fucking love them. I cannot wait for this fucking album. And hey. And if any of the Immortal Disfigurement boys want to, you know, maybe hit me up and give it to me ever so slightly early so I can get a reaction video out to the entire thing and, you know, like, put it up the day it comes out or whatever, then let me know. Also, please let me get a vinyl. Um, if you guys are doing vinyls, I d can I have vinyl, please? I want vinyl. Anyways, that is it for me today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe. Just know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the track. Let me know what you think of Immortal Disfigurement. Let me know what you think. And other than that, you've been wonderful people. I have been Venom. And as always, you guys are the real motherfucking heroes. Matter for y'all. 